It's always my favorite part when I get to put light behind it for the first time. Teresa Woody's portfolio is impressive. She finds enjoyment creating stained glass art. It was something that got my mind off of the life changes I was going through. In 2005, those life changes centered around a diagnosis, obstructive sleep apnea, which disturbed her sleep up to 64 times an hour. Somewhere along the breathing pathway, whether from nose all the way down to throat, it either collapses or there's something in the way so that when people try to breathe at night, they're not getting adequate oxygenation. Dr. David Chang is an ear, nose, and throat surgeon at University of Missouri Healthcare. He explains how the breathing disorder can lead to fatigue, high blood pressure, and increased risk of heart problems. Obstructive sleep apnea affects up to 30 million people in the U.S. Teresa tried a CPAP machine and couldn't tolerate it. She lived in a constant fog of fatigue. You just take 20 minute power nap, but my husband's going, you're sleeping in public on a side of a road? Then in 2019, a social media ad caught her attention. It was for a hypoglossal nerve stimulation device called Inspire. This hypoglossal nerve stimulation or the Inspire device has kind of revolutionized the way that we think about treating uh, obstructive sleep apnea in a kind of a different modality. Dr. Chang implanted the pacemaker sized device inside Teresa's chest. So here is the generator portion of the Inspire device. Now, while Teresa sleeps, the device monitors her breathing. When she takes a breath, an electrical pulse stimulates the muscles in the back of her throat, keeping the airway open. Patients have no problems breathing during the day, even though they have sleep apnea. And that's because a large part of sleep apnea is because there's a lack of muscle tone. There's a lack of muscle tone in the throat. There's a lack of muscle tone in the tongue region that causes a collapse to occur. Here, Inspire is a new way of treating that aspect of sleep apnea by adding that tone back to a patient while they're sleeping. What you're doing is stimulating tone back into the tongue to get it out of the way, to neurologically, muscularly move it out of the way to provide air or passage space for adequate air flow and breathing. Within months of surgery, Teresa experienced her first uninterrupted night of sleep. I sat on my bed and I cried like a baby because <laughs> It's, I hadn't got a good night's sleep in 13 years. And that means more energy for the passions that bring her joy.